Hi all, let's have a look at game 19 of the 20 games sent to me by DeepMind recently. So in game 19, two set conditions, Stockfish 8 playing white against Alpha 0, and the opening book features the Schliemann defence, in fact e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop b5, and now this super aggressive move f5. This is actually a favourite, by the way, of Fide Master Mike, Mark Lyle. Uh, who I've played once or twice, a, a very dangerous, uh, aggressive player. So, this is one of the most ferocious openings. If you don't know what you're doing with white, you can be in big trouble. Uh, white plays here, Stockfish plays knight c3. That's the first uh, move out of book, I believe. After f takes, knight takes, we have knight f6. Knight takes, queen takes, queen e2, bishop e7. And here, uh, basically, uh, black is giving up that e5 pawn off the takes, takes, knight takes e5. We have now bishop b7. Uh, the most usual move, uh, a move which Martin Lyle's played, is queen e6. With one of the, one basic idea is a trap. If white castles routinely, then d6 actually wins the piece because of that horrible pen. That's the usual move played, it seems, without much question, Queen e6 in this position. But Alpha 0 chooses Bishop b7. So that's interesting, the departure there. White castles, king side, black castles, queen side. d3, rook d e8, we have knight c4. And now Alpha 0 plunges the h pawn down, trying to get a form pawn. Uh, it, it, is, it does seem to be a recurring pattern in both Leela and alpha zero games this this tendency to want a goal hanging pawn uh, so queen e3 h4 uh, so leaving the a7 pawn uh, hanging black could have defended the pawn but white's going to be perfectly fine after say bishop d2 for example like this this is uh, okay for white so this is much more aggressive in the spirit of uh, the form pawns at least. If white does take on a7, black probably does best this technical move, bishop b4 first before doing anything, to stop the queen coming back uh, to e3. And now h3 is going to be much more dangerous. For example, c3, h3, just leaving the bishop hanging. Uh, and it's far too dangerous for white. For example, queen d4, hg, queen g6 check, bang, rook takes h2 check. And this is mating. So there's a lot of dangers with this pawn coming down the board, especially with queen takes a7, bishop b4, cutting the queen's retreat back for defensive purposes. Uh, here, just to look at this again, this variation, uh, if the rook had moved, say, to d1, then queen f3, still leaving the bishop hanging, uh, is, is dangerous with the idea of rook takes h2 coming in. So say this. There's going to be rook takes h2. It's super dangerous. <laughs> so I, anyway, so the queen didn't go on an adventure taking a7. It just stuck around after h4. It played queen h3, stopping the dread, the fear, the terror of the form pawn, queen h3. So we have king b8, bishop d2, still trying to get onto this diagonal. So d5, bishop c3, d4, bishop d2, bishop c8. Okay, so black is a pawn down here. Uh, so it is it is a bit of a <laughs> a, a risky double-edged opening, shall we say? Uh, but uh, black has that bishop pair. Now, after queen f3, uh, alpha zero did take on f3 and play bishop e6, f4, h3, installing the dreaded form pawn, knight e5. And now actually bishop f6 just ignoring c6, it's only a double pawn anyway, just protecting d4 instead. Uh, on king b7, officially protecting the pawn, something like knight g6 and taking out the e7 bishop is fairly pleasant for white. Uh, white's control of that e-file going to double soon, control of c5, it looks very, very good for white. So maybe this is a much better decision. Knight takes, king c8. So... In this position, 
alpha zero is two pawns down but there's now bishop d5 with aggressive ideas sometimes taking and then rook h6 the g6 for example maybe uh so the knight goes back soon after rook takes uh knight c4 let's have a sorry let's have a quick look at knight before the bishop could drop back well it does have c feet c4 to try and parry the diagonal so this this kind of situation uh is about equal where the rook's not having such an easy time actually getting onto that gfr so anyway here rook takes rook takes knight e5 and actually um even though black is material down of the bishop takes rookie one it's opposite color bishop scenario here so four five six seven one two three four five now quite often Leela has drawn many games in opposite colored bishops uh scenario so this isn't going to be a winning game for black but um a draw would be a good result we could say so rookie six we have c4 d takes bishop takes rook g6 check and now taking a pawn back so just one pawn but these these uh, opposite bishop scenarios are very easy to sometimes draw because of the blockade potential uh, now this pawn was given up to get that one and it's just basically here uh, a draw for a kind of fortress draw let's have a quick look there so stockfish going over here with the king uh, you might think well going over here for this pawn is that interesting not really we're going to see that soon I've, I've got a variation for that to just show why so there's a lot of just yeah a lot of moves now So opposite kind of bishops yes now there is a, a trade down thing built built into the one of the latest tournament versions of leader where there's a preference not for trading down sorry around here on instead of king g5 if king f3 trying to go for this h2 pawn white just waits for king g2 and then plays g4 basically and in fact black could be in big trouble here for example if that pawn goes up the board if a6 drops black's actually in big trouble so there's no point really trying king f3 it seems so king g5 and then uh it's just it's just basically a, a kind of fortress draw so th this pawn actually given up there anyway just so equal on pawns and um not much to write home about okay uh so yeah this is probably mm, it, i think the main reason for this game <clears throat> to have been distributed um uh, is is just to show that Alpha Zero can play a diverse set of openings, and even the uh, Schliemann defense, which, because of its double-edged nature, you, you might not want to play against chess engines. Particularly, uh, you might not be getting the compensation because they have a habit of defending very well, stubborn defenders. But um, yeah, Alpha Zero managed to draw with this opening, and shows you know great capability in in different uh, terrains. Okay, so uh, I hope you got something out of this video. Uh, you might want to click on the top left box, which appears shortly to become a member at chessworld.net to play on the YouTubers. You can also check the YouTube analysis in advance when the improved menu you learn from the masters. YouTube order button. Okay, comments, questions, they should see the description. Like, share, subscribe to the notification bell. Uh, all really appreciated. And the new Teespring store in the description. Okay, thanks very much.